Greetings everybody, this is Barry from h &W Machine Repair and today we are going to work on the bull gear housing. I already have a video online of me disassembling the machine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to replace the bearings in the large bull gear and the small bull gear and I'm going to reassemble the housing. So let's go ahead and get started. We, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the vise to, just, to remove the lock nut. Now we use a copper jawed vise. Put your big bull gear in vertically. Now this is where things, you know, people want to be dainty. You're not going to be dainty. You take a punch. We take a three pound sludge. Knock that thing loose. There you go. Once it's loose, you can unspin it. Um, we actually have a uh, tool that we made. Um, you feel free to make one in here and spin it. Okay, just set that aside. Now we're going to go, go to the arbor press. Okay, with the arbor press, Again, I have two blocks with V's cut out. They come very handy because you notice you have round spots and everything. So we're going to set that in there. Now we're going to be replacing the spline gear hub with a new one. So I'm not too worried about being dainty with it. Just go down. Out. Okay. Now, the key on this one just came out, which is good. Sometimes you actually have to go over and put it in a vise and pull the key out. But you want to take your key out, set it aside, you're just going to be putting it back in your new gear. At this point, on your large full gear, there is your bearing housing, and then there is your bull gear. Bull gear aside, now what I use is a 2x4. Again, this isn't necessary for the weak of heart, and you just... There, there's your bearing. Now, the the, the um, wavy washer goes underneath on the bottom bearing. There's your spacer. You have this apart. And this is where the V's come in very handy. Because you just, you notice you don't have a lot of grip here, so you're just kind of hitting the edges here. And I use the old gear I'm gonna discard it in there. Knock it out. There. Now I have this completely disassembled. There it is. This will go. We'll clean this up before we put it back together. Okay, now we're ready for the small bull gear. Now you notice there's a key up here in the top. We've got to get that off. So we just go back over to the vise. Let's put the key in the jaws. Sometimes you can just grab it and lift it up. Sometimes you need to use, I use a leather hammer because I do not want to damage the teeth. It came out part way. Go back in. I'm going to most likely replace the key anyway. So there, keys out. Notice this key is, sometimes these keys are ground off. There's really no reason to do that. But if it is ground off and you're using the same key, it goes towards the bearing. You can get a new key that's not ground off and it'll fit and not touch anything. So, okay, now we're going back over to the arbor press. You have a set screw holding the gear in place. You just loosen it up. Sometimes they're very, very tight. Kind of put the, put the bearing in there and you're just, we're just gonna scoop, knock it all apart. Then you have your bearing off. There's your gear. Same thing. There we go. Now, what you've got is your gear and your shaft, your old bearings. Now I'm going to clean parts and we're going to come back and I'm going to reassemble everything for you. So I'll be right back. All right, we are back. I've got the parts clean. 
First, I'm going to reassemble the big bull gear to the point where we're ready to put locking it back on. So, I am installing a new 1161 spline gear hub with this, which I do 99% of the time. Take your key, um, go back in here, and basically, you know, I'm going to need to go over and put it in the press, so we'll go over there and do that real quick. You can also tap it in with a hammer. I always use a press just because I, or a vise because I have one. In there. All right, back to the arbor press. Okay, you notice that the bull gear, it's got a flat and it's indented. This is the bottom, this is the top. Stick it in your press. usually starts just a tiny bit. Put it on in there. Okay, that's done. Now, two bearings that are going into the sliding housing. Part number 1491. And we use a shielded bearing. Okay, the way I do this, I go to the top one first. Stick it on there. It on. Turn it over. I put in the spacer. I put in the wavy washer. And then I set the second bearing in there. Press it down. Now that may bounce back up, it's no big deal because it's gonna be pressed down when you're here. Now, set this on, set my assembly on the gear. The biggest thing you gotta be careful when you're putting this together is there's a fine thread on there. So you want to make sure that whatever you use to press this down is larger than the thread and you don't mess up your threads. So I have a piece of pipe that we use. If you're wondering, the ID is one and five eighths inches. And that's exactly the size that's set on the inside rest brace of my bearing for press. I just go very slowly to let things settle themselves. Okay. Down. Quick spin, set that aside. While we're at the press, we're gonna go ahead and put together the small wool gear. These are part number 1277. Same thing, two of these. And again, we do not use any of the Chinese bearings. We use only the good, either American or Japanese bearings. These are NTNs made in Japan. Okay, first thing you're gonna do you're going to press the bearing on the bottom of the shaft. So I just take the bearing and set it on there. And same thing, I come down. Okay, now we are going to press the bull gear back on. Now there's the bottom, it's going towards the bottom bearing. Make sure you get your keyway lined up. B. All right, now I go down to the bottom and then what I do, I, I spin it. I have a tiny bit of resistance. I can feel it rubbing. So I just put it in here. I'm just barely gonna bump it. I usually look at the key to make sure I see it move. Probably too much. So. Okay, now I have it, it's free, it's barely off the bearing on the bottom. You want it to be as low as it'll go, but where the bearing spins freely. Once you have that done, tighten your set screw back up again. Now you're ready to put the top bearing on. Okay, 
bearings are on. There were two assemblies. We'll go back over to the other bench. We'll go ahead and put the keyway into your small one since that's what I'm working on. So I did get a new key just to demonstrate. I'll just get it started in here. Same thing, I go to my press or my vise. Apologize for calling it a press. Just get it inwards in and you're good to go. So that part is done. Set that aside. Now we're going to put the lock washer back on here. So we're back to this. Putting it in the vise and your copper jaw vise, your lock washer, and get it on and try to get it started. I'm going to do it by hand because most people don't have the tool. Got it started. I'll now take my tool. Now, I just get it to where I know I'm threaded on. I take a little bit of blue Loctite. And I use the blue. And I just tap, put a couple drops down on the threads. Because if this ever backs off, you're going to have to tear your machine completely apart again. Get it snug. This is where I'm going to tell you, don't be shy. I use a flat punch. You do not want that to come off again. Get it done, spins real good. So there we go. Now we're going to go over and assemble the housing. First thing you do is just so you don't forget, once this is assembled, take your ring, put it on top, and so it's sitting on there like it should be. Now, my housing is clean, I'm ready to go with this thing. Your three springs in the holes. I take a little WD-40, just kind of give it a little squirt down in there just to Get it on the springs, you know, it's not going to hurt anything. Now, if you look down inside, you see the two little tabs, brass tabs, and then there's the hole. That hole is where your um, adjustment is. It's going to match up with that. So when you put this in, you're going to put it down to this angle. Just kind of let it get to its position. Hopefully, if everything goes well, it's going to come right, go right down. And if not, then we'll have to work on that. But. All right, it goes down. Now, I know I'm sitting on the tab. So what I do is I pick it up. And you can see right there, you see how I'm over on the tab. So I am going to use a screwdriver. In the back of my hand to try to get this thing to where it's and as you can see you want these because it's a very snug fit and it's supposed to be there see how it just slipped down below so now when I turn this over I push it down push it all the way down and it springs back up take our small bull gear put it in place Usually it just drops right down. Sometimes you need to use a, a rubber mallet. Um, that one here. A little trusty cook, number two. Tap it down. Okay, now we're down. So when you put one of these together, you're going to take your handle Okay, if you notice, you've got an angle like this and a square. This is the low position. This is neutral. This is high. When you assemble this, you always assemble it in low. Again, same thing. I put a little oil on here. Um, you can grease if you want. I'm not a big fan of putting grease in there, just on the chance something will get in there. What I do is I take it, push it down in position. Slide 
slide it in and if you've taken it apart it's going to pretty much go right where it needs to go once you have it together those two are 32 threads i believe they're 832s camera. Let's get them started in the hole. You don't want to go super tight at first because you're going to want to get both of them started. Just kind of let that drop down. And tighten it up. And I know the part numbers will be on the video, so any questions will be right there. Okay, at this point, you have low, you have neutral, you have high. So, well, there you go. Now, you would put it back on your assembly, you would pack this with grease, put your covers on, and then your bowl gear housing is done and ready to go. So, as always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.